hello what's up good people and thank you for clicking now on this video i'm gonna take you through exactly just like i promised you that whenever i get a new thing and a new gig that you can put your money on i'm obliged to come here and share with you bit by bit today it's all about how to invest your 50k to 100 g's actually safely and online guess what we got good news from the cbk and that is exactly on what we call the treasury bills and the treasury bonds it has actually been made easier than you thought back then it was a bit process of you going there queuing and all those kind of things but right now you can just do it at the comfort of your couch how do you ex how do you do exactly that that is a bit i'm gonna share with you all what you need to do it was did to watch this video to the end so that you understand each and every bit of exactly that now anyway let's get started but before you do exactly that guess what future and if you don't want to miss any of my good videos in the future do this take one second subscribe down below there on your right there is a button written subscribe if you hit that magical button like this video and as well comment down below by only doing that you get to be notified whenever i upload a new good video so by the way i do so each and every day so anyway let's get into today's business it's all about your 50 g's and 100 g's and how you can do so and invest it online through what we call the treasury bills and the treasury Bones, all right now just like i was explaining at the beginning of this video i was saying initially there it was a bit of a process for you to get started and i had a lot of guys from the diaspora who are outside the country they were asking me i would love to get started but i do not know exactly how can i go about it because you're required to have what you call the cds account and the cds account that you need for you to get started on the treasury bills or bonds it's quite a different one from the one that you usually take or use to operate on the stock shares or the Nairobi Securities Exchange stocks. Now, this CSD, nowadays now they are calling it a CSD. Now, how exactly do you do exactly that? Now, <clears throat> very simple. Uh, one, first of all, for you to be able to invest on treasury bills and bonds, you need to have a CDS account, right? Allow me just to call it a CDS account for the ease of this conversation. Now, this CDS account is like a bank account, but now is an account that you open with the CBK, that the Central Bank of Kenya, for you to be able to be a government lender. Because bills and bonds are basically you lending the government. Bills is for the short period and the bonds is for the longer period. All right. Now, for, by the way, let me let me explain to you. At Kitambo, you needed or you are required to go to the Treasury bills physically. But now you can just head over to the official website uh, called the CBK. All right. Uh, www.cbk.co.ke, something of, of sort. Or just Google CBK. Once you Google CBK and then you'll be able to be, you know, guided throughout, the, the, uh, you'll be able to head over to that specific official website. Now from there, actually they have pinned that specific place where you can open that account. And that account is actually described as Thor CSD. That name that I've actually written there, Thor CSD. That's where you go, you click that specific place and now you'll be guided to have all the, uh, all how to, to apply for that CDS account. And this is what they have actually done it. Before you even actually get started to this CDS account, there is actually a whole of a PDF document there, over 50-something pages, explaining to you how you can actually go ahead and fill all the, uh, the places that are required there to actually get started on the CDS account. So all what you need to do, you click that specific website. After that, now you'll be able to key in all your details. Now, but I can just give you a sneak preview of what you need out there so that you can have them in prepared and ready so that you can just upload them. You need to have a passport size of course not more than four mbs mbs if i'm not wrong another thing you need you need to have yourself a kra pin all right a picture of it as well you need just to place it somewhere where it's clean with a clear background you take a very nice photo showing all the edges another thing you need of course you need your id the back and the front those are the things that you need all right so you need a passport size meaning a picture of yours you need a kra pin and of course you need your id those are the physical documents that you need them you take them a picture on a very flat and clear background taking making sure that you take all the edges so that all the information can be captured now after uploading all that document actually takes you less than 10 minutes you and, and then they tell you wait for at least 48 hours they process the document then they can send you the cds account you know the nice thing and the good thing is that you can actually do this without anybody helping you or facilitating you provided you can be able to read and write you have an access to the internet and you have a good phone that i can actually take pictures of views uh that is the passport size as well as the um, you know those ids and other copies you're good to go it's as simple as that so uh now uh this is the point now i know you're asking yourself perhaps it's the very first time you're hearing about treasury bills and treasury bonds well i did make a v i made a video about these specific things you can check my previous videos i had a made a video explaining each and every bit of what is treasury bills and treasury 
bonds. But anyway, I can just give you a sneak preview of exactly what is expected of you and what exactly it is treasury bill just like i said is a short-term way of lending the government money to supplement their budget or however they're gonna use the money basically is to lend the government and lending the government here means that you have must have a minimum of a certain amount of money and the treasury bill is amount of money that you need to have to get started it's a hundred k of the treasury bonds is the long-term way of lending the government and the minimum that you need here is 50k with an exemption of maybe say you want to invest on the infrastructure bond see on bonds we have two types we have the infrastructure bond and we have what we call the fxt bond all right the fxt bond is what is subjected to a tax but infrastructure bond does not uh, is not is subjected to a tax infrastructure bond is actually money that is gathered to build the infrastructure likes of the roads railways and what have you so if you lend the government to do exactly that they don't do you the tax they don't cut the tax from the interest that you earn out there and this infrastructure bond they usually have a very nice coupon rate what is a coupon rate coupon rate is that amount of money in terms of percentage interest that they pay you at the end of the year but they do so semi-annually meaning they pay you two times per year after six months and after six months so this is how you go about it once you acquire your cds account all what you need to do is to still head over to the same same cbk account uh, the, or rather the website you check on the bills if you want to invest on the bills you just google actually don't even google just say cbk and then down there you'll be able to see the big treasury bills and the treasury bonds if you want to get started the treasury bonds just know that they are short period meaning uh, they range from uh, 91 days uh, 190, 184 days and 364 days meaning like uh, three six and one year so say less let's say a treasury bill has a coupon rate meaning an interest rate of uh say 10 percent and you want to get started with three months so basically it will be three months of uh 365 times the 10 percent for you to know exactly how much you'll be able to get that because a lot of people tend to ask me now say if the coupon rate is 10 percent and i want to invest in that period of three months you won't get the 10 percent you can only get the 10 percent if you i invest that money for an entire stretch of that whole yeah it's as simple as that right i hope i made a sense on that so if you want to get it started on the treasury bonds as well uh, you got to check whether you want to invest on what you call the fxd that's the fixed deposit bond and that fixed deposit bond are subjected to interest or rather taxes uh, say you got your or they've given you a uh, 13 percent of which is a very good for an fxd or 12 percent which is well is still a very good for an fxd you minus uh like the interest rate and the interest rate or rather the tax uh, percentage is usually 15 percent uh, on the withholding uh, withholding tax on the interest that you get say like you invest your 100 g's you get your 15k uh, if the interest rate is 15,000, then meaning that that 15,000 is the one that's gonna be subjected to a tax of 15 percent so what's 15 percent of 15,000? it's like mm -hmm like um almost close to 2000 so you get yourself like 13000 at the end of the year remember one thing i always tell people why did i say it is safe and secure meaning because this amount, this way of investing is actually a low risk investment meaning your money is subjected to a low risk to no risk actually if you ask me if they're the safest way how you can invest your money are the treasury bills and the treasury bonds because at the end of the day it's very hard for the government not to pay you and don't be skeptical out there and be like hey uh, how sure am i that i'm gonna get my money back and all those kind of things and i always tell people yeah i understand it's quite um fair and logical to be a little bit of skeptic out there but i always tell people it's good to imagine this can you imagine to a situation whereby the government cannot be able to pay you are from the money that you've invested that means not only the government doesn't have the capacity also that conversion of business that you're going to start out there it will be facing crisis because and that's by the way that has never happened in kenya by the way and if i've ever happened by the way you guys you can tell me out there and if it has ever happened maybe during the moise era where the economy was a bit dilapidated and everything was down there and everything was crumbling so the point is this before a point it reaches to a point whereby we can say that the government is in a capability or it's capable uh, it's not capable rather to pay the investors it's quite outrageous it's quite out of order and it's something that can actually uh happen maybe once in a lifetime or never happen ever ever that's why i actually classify it as one of the safest ways on areas where you can invest your money 
yeah probably probably right now from where i am you feel like hey you're a bit confused you don't even know exactly what i'm talking about how about you grab a booklet on the treasury bills and bonds as well for 440 kenyan shares grab my number from the description of this specific video give me a call it is there explaining each and every bit how you get started and what interest rate how do they calculate how do they pay you and all those kind of things because i bet you have a lot of questions pertaining to exactly that and by the way i do have a video dedicated entirely on treasury bills and bones how about you check it later uh you know from our uh, from other videos that i did made uh, some times back you can check them and see how you can get started all right so anyway guys for now uh just want to say goodbye but remember this whatever you hear a new opportunity that is out there in town go grab it and do your something do something as far as the investment is concerned uh perhaps maybe you may not have your 100 g's but you can start with 50,000 on the fxd pole pole as the time goes you create what we call a portfolio Always what I tell people is that it's good to create what we call a portfolio of investment. You do not really have to overstretch yourself. Just, just do that what is you're capable of. Uh, you know, with the time you're able to go ahead and accumulate that investment and you're going to do something amazing as the time goes. So anyway, guys, uh, for now, it's a goodbye. But make sure that you check other previous videos explaining on the treasury bills and bonds. Now, it's a goodbye. See you there.